Dude, they're really making me wait out these 40 packs? Really? There. Oh. <gasps> okay, this was worth the wait. This was worth the wait indeed. Oh my god. We have 201 packs. Okay, we got this show on the road. In the very first pack. Can we get a golden legendary, I wonder? Maybe I can get a golden legendary this set. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Basic pack. Sounds of Family Mania and someone a copy of it. This card seems okay. I feel like Silence Priest could be good. You gotta see more stuff that comes out. Dying Escape. Yeah, like cards like that seems pretty good for the Silence Priest, I guess. You want to attack for each spell in your hand? Okay. Vendetta just seems nuts. Vendetta should not be a card by any means. Improve morale. Underbelly Angler from Murloc Shaman. That looks Murloc Shaman looks pretty viable. Like I, I definitely feel like as with that new Murloc Legendary, making all your Murlocs cost one. Seems pretty good. Burl's Shovel Fist? I have just not even... 9 mana, 9 mana, rush. Okay. Pack Filler it is. Now the real Pack Filler is the 2 mana, 2, 3 elemental. Can't attack unless you have spell damage. Yeah, the Arcane Watcher seems pretty cool because it's not that hard to get spell damage. That card seems really cool. So do these two Token Druid cards on the bottom. Potion Bender, which restores health, could be pretty good, too. Soldier Fortune, 4 mana, 5, 6 mana, this attacks, gives your opponent a coin. Okay. Epic, Portal, Overfiend, 6 mana, 5, 6 demon, shuffle 3 portals into your deck when drawn, summon a 2 2 demon with rush. Okay. He seems okay. Tons of pet. <gasps> Ryan Gray! Hello! Tons of packs. How are you doing? Hello again. Mana Reservoir, two mana zero six spell damage. Doesn't seem that good, but how goes it? It has been quite it's quite some time, my guy. But no problem, because I haven't been streaming much lately either, so. Mutilate, change from friendly minion. Clockwork on the clockwork bomb mechanic seems fun. First golden card, like Forge Blessing. Oh, Legendary, what we got? Loose Embark, okay. Heal Druid's looking pretty, pretty good. Heal Druid's not bad by any means. Safe card. What do you guys think about this? 6 minute, four, five, Taunt, summon a zero, 5 Vault Safe with Taunt. Like, it seems defensive, but like, mm. Unsleeping Soul. Oh yeah, I'm definitely making, definitely trying to play Secret Paladin too. Secret Paladin seems real fun. I'm graping, super busy moving here soon. Da da da, love and life. Oh yeah, where are you moving to? Or are you moving from to? Same country, different state, different town. How's the job? Oh, it's been pretty good. I've been doing pretty well at the job there. Still working. I work part-time while I'm in school, you know. Oh, double rare in a pack. Here we go. Fill each player's board with 1-1 one amps. That seems... Eh. I like it. Your hand overload one. So what do you guys think about Flightmaster? Uh, Battlecry summon a 2-2 griffin for each player. Like, I guess it's like supposed to be token for like you, but also helps the opponent. Stowaway is 3-man for 3-4 is not bad. If you really think about it, you get more stats than the opponent does, but... Reoccurring Villain seems pretty good, too. If this many has four more attack, resummon it. <laughs> Double Dr. Boom schemes? Wonderful. Is that the worst scheme? Yeah. Forbidden Words. Spend all your mana to destroy a minion with that much attack or less. We can finally kill a minion with four attack or more. For, for Priest, for four attack. That was always a sweet spot to get around Priest, but... Kieran Tor... Tr Tricaster, 4 mana, 3, 3. Spell damage plus 3. Your spells cost 1 more. Okay. Spell damage plus 3, though. That's huge. 
Epic, well, we got Magic Carpet, 3 mana, 1, 6. After you play a 1 cost minion, give it 1 attack and rush. Eh. Ursatron, 3 mana, 3, 3, Death Rattle, at, draw a mech from your deck, okay? Underbelly Fence. Uh, I mean, are people really dismissing Death Rattle Hunter that much? I don't know. I feel like Death Rattle Hunter could be a thing. Underbelly Ooze, after this minion survives damage, summon a copy of it. Moving in with bro for a bit to save money, then waiting for the house market to drop so I can get a house grinding. Torva, howdy. I've only opened up one legend so far. It was, um... T -t -t what was the legend? Oh, Loosen Bark. Otherwise, it's been just a few epics here. And I'm not doing space bar because you guys have heard about that glitch where if you do space bar, you open two packs, but it only shows the animation for one and the other one just opens in your collection. So what are your guys' thoughts on Blizzard giving us a rager? This rager actually, to me, seems actually very good. If it said swap, that would be bad, but it says copy, which seems actually really good if you think about it. It's a 3 mana 5, 4 potentially. 3 mana 5, 7. That's really good. Toxic Fin seems pretty good too, giving more like poisonous. I want to make a spell damage deck too. That seems nuts with that guy. Maybe spell damage mage, because mage is a lot of spell damage buff cards I've seen so far. So what seems cool? Um, definitely Murloc Shaman, Imp Hunter seems interesting. Silence Priest doesn't seem bad either. But Torv, I bet you're excited to play Rogue, eh? Well. Yeah, thank you, Cider. Thank you, Cider Greg. Good to see you, too. I want you to pull a Golden Rafam. That'd be fun. I like Rafam, or I like the um, one girl that uh, shuffles in. You discover five random legendary shuffles, two copies of each in the deck. Ooh, Golden Ursatron. How cool is it? It's got a light and some sparks flying. This was the Spout of Cry Silence, Silence Adjacent Minions. Okay, Silence Priest doesn't seem that bad. Spell damage plus three. Your spells cost one more. I mean, that seems really good, though. Think about this. Spell damage plus three. Your Frostbolt steals six. Your... Magic Dart Frog. After you cast a spell, deal one damage to random enemy minion. Yeah, Lazul scheme. Reduce the attack of an enemy minion by one until your next turn. Upgrades each turn. And it says decrease until your next turn. So it's decreased for the opponent and for you to hit into. Basic pack. Portal Keeper. Four mana, five, two. Battle Cry. Shuffle three portals in your deck. When drawn, summon a choo choo team with rush. Seems okay. I don't know. Maybe Alec makes it good. I mean, Golden or Fama would be a great meme. If you have spell damage, draw a card. Yeah, spell damage seems to be a theme too. Make a little spell damage centered deck, you know? Thalnos. I'm trying to think of other good spell damage minions, like that new mage one that gives plus three. Gain one attack for each spell in your hand. The main reservoir, I don't think it's gonna see play like ever. It's a two mana zero six. If anything, maybe a priest gonna, is gonna play with it somehow. And so far, it's only been loose and bark. Leon, hello. How you been? I haven't seen you in a bit. Like if you control secret game plus one plus one, that seems really good too. Tunnel blaster, seven mana, three seven. Taunt, death rattle, deal three damage to all minions. Oh, that seems fun. Just that elemental from mage, the um, dinosaur that deals damage to everything. Like that, but a death rattle. Golden portal keeper, he shuffles in golden portals. All right, now we're talking. Get golden 2-2 imps, that sounds really good. Good mage secret, good mage twin spell there. Wait, where is the stream? Leon, what do you mean where's the stream? I'm streaming right now, is it not going live? It should be going live. Anyone else having trouble seeing it? Leon, you can't see it? Heroic Innkeeper, Taunt Battle Cry, Game Plus, Two Push Two. I'll be honest, like BTW, did you get a free legendary? Oh, I didn't check! I didn't think I did. I should have gotten two, though. 
I'll check right now. You're right, I should have got a free legendary. It didn't show me. Oh, I did! Tack. Of course I would get the golden boom reaver. <sighs> like, big warrior just is not seeming to be that good. Of course that'd be the golden one. And I got tack. Okay, that's cool. Take a free tack. And then there's Bargoth. I open loose and bark. Yeah, yeah. The Golden Boom Reaver. What's worse is that I have now also had the chance to to get a normal Boom Reaver as one of my legendaries. That's awful. That's so bad. All right, back to the facts. Back to the facts. Yeah, XD Torva. Ha ha. He he ho ho. Trash. You must play Warrior now. Mm, I will someday, but. Guys, dinner is ready for me. I'm going to run down and grab it quick. How many packs should I more should I open before I go down and get it? Unidentified contract seems really good, in my opinion. Man. There it is. There's the two mana two three neutral card. All right, I'm due to open a legendary soon. Okay. You're talking? Wasn't me. Man. I see that they're like trying to push Silent Priest. I mean, that's just an amazing priest card, but. Summon four one one vengeful scrolls. They're just one ones, right? They don't actually do anything. Sold the Murloc seems really good for Murloc Shaman too. Man. Call to Adventure. That's a pretty good card draw for Paladin. I haven't opened any like dragon support for Paladin, that epic guy that gives him plus three plus three, he'd be pretty cool. I'm due for a legendary, not here. Good pal and secret card. They seek vengeance, of course. You're right. How foolish of me. Muckmorpher and Hecklebot. Wow, okay. That was a pretty good pack. Copy all beasts. Your opponents summon a minion from their deck. Turns them into a 4 4 copy of a different minion in your deck. See, I feel like Muck Morpher is good, but I just don't know with what. Like, if you have a Malagos in your deck and that's it, Muck Morpher seems pretty, pretty good. What do you guys think of Muck Morpher there? I'm going to continue on, but... No legendary yet. <laughs> Tobol conscriptors. I keep getting tunnel blasters, man. Don't want them. Alright, I must be wearing out the pity timer, because we've opened 40 packs and gotten one legendary. We've opened 41 packs and has gotten one legendary. That's that's bad. It's bad numbers there, man. And the loosen bark was pretty early too. I don't remember what pack number the Loosen Bark was on, but we must be reaching 40 after soon. Ooh, gold, that's cool. So does that generate gold and Murlocs? Another golden Ultratron, Ursatron, nice. Double dragons. Ooh, 
There it is. Keeper Stiladris. Pretty darn good. There he is. Alright, so I remember that. Pack 157. So. 157 minus 40. So I should get my next one at max at pack 117. Like, I knew I was due for it. I'm like, I'm opening up all these basics. Heroic Innkeeper. That seems pretty good. I mean, that could be even... That's like a Frostwolf Warlord, right? That's pretty good for even just like a token deck. If you're planning to play Nate Drow. Double Epics. Alright. Nine Lives. This was apparently the number one rated Epic out of this entire set. I don't really know why. Maybe because it triggers a Death Rare like of a Savannah High Main. And then you get it again. And Wrench Caliber, that's pretty good. Two good epics in that pack, I'll take it. Torva. That was fast. Hey, Blastmaster Boom! Alright, that's, uh, that's pretty good. That is actually really good. That was pack number what? 154. There was like literally three packs. All right, so minimum next is is it a 30 pack or a 40 pack pity timer? 30 or 40. Another portal keeper. Batterhead. Ugh, after those attacks and kills him, and he may attack again. It just doesn't seem that good. 40? Okay. If you're holding a spell that costs 5 or more, deal 4 damage. The War Mage seems pretty cool. Okay, so that was pack 144 that we opened the boom in. So minus 40. We should get another one minimum of one, maximum of 104. If not sooner. This safe, safeguard guy... I don't know if I'm really sold on him. Yeah, he heals you 10, and like, I get it. But I don't think it would, uh, see that, that much play. Torba, what are your thoughts on Flight Master for, like, a zoo deck? Where it's, like, 3 mana for a 3-4. Awesome stats. I'm gonna 2-2 two, two Griffin for each player. I say it's good, but you need to have other minions out to kill that 2-2. Two, two. Normal pack. I mean, that makes sense. I need a normal pack sometime. Makes the other packs seem good. See, of course, naturally. See that? See the stitches on the card packs here? That's why you're playing the stitch sleeves, you know? Another normal pack. I'm gonna eat some of my foods. Imagine that one Drake that summons the Drake Slayer, kind of, in a way. Oh. Then you get a position to trade. Yeah, the one that makes the... Um, all I remember is he goes, Ready? Aim! And he's got Poisonous. Isn't that Drake still in it? Isn't that dragon still here? Maybe it left. Oh, that's an epic. That's a rare again. Alright, a first in Inferno. That's pretty good. I'll take an Inferno. And our first Sweeping Strikes. Give him any and also damages next to whomever this attacks. I saw this in Zeliax play. That's really strong. Because Zeliax would heal you fifth, um, nine. Alright. So Witch's Brew has, has Echo, but it doesn't? That's what I'm thinking, right? It's got Echo. Well, how is this better than Echo? And why doesn't it say Echo? I think it's Witchwood. Hey, there's our first Druid spell for that. You think it's Witchwood? Yeah, but Witchwood set had Echo in it. Like... 
If it's it's Vitagatha's card, you would think it would have Echo. Double crystal power. You have no clue? Okay. It's alright. I don't know either. I was about to say I'm due for a legendary, but I'm really not. <laughs> we did open two kind of in a row there. So I want that legendary girl that shuffles in um, 10 legendaries for you that you discover. You discover five of them, but it shuffles in two copies. I want her. Boom was really good to get. Um, Rafam seems fun and good. What else do I want? Caligo seems good. Jumbo Imp. Ayo. Imp Warlock looking strong. Okay, Chef Naomi. Chef Naomi. Um, I know this looks bad, right? But the strat that I thought of when I was driving home today was, of course, your Myra's unstable element. That makes sense with Chef Nomi. You do that up. Yeah, yeah. Then next turn, you play either the Barista Girl that adds a copy of your Battle Cry minions to your hand, or you play that one that shuffles in the 10 legendaries so that you don't end up taking a lot of fatigue, and you have a really strong board. And you're only going to draw those 10 legendaries that you shuffled in. One quick second, I need to do something. Alright, Torv, I'm gonna continue because I got a lot of stuff here, so. Man. Double mark shots, looking strong. Man. Guys, I should have brought a napkin. Ooh, gold napkin. What we get? Yeah? That's our golden epic. It's like 400 dust right there. It's a quarter of a legendary. It'd be a quarter of a legendary, I reckon. Yeah. Violent Warden, Taunt, Spell Damage plus one. Oh, that's not that good. That pack was very mediocre, but that's fine because we just got Ship Nomi. Alright. Normal. Arcane Watcher again for the spell damage deck. Draw a card if you get spell damage. Just guy can attack if you get spell damage. Golden Rare. Ah, the reoccurring villain. Ha ha ha. Look at him trilling that must you don't want that mustache. I don't think he's that good. I really don't think he's that good. Ooh. Shadow figure, that's a good one. I'll tell you can. I can definitely see him seeing play. Chance we're window two. Transform into shoot you copy of a friendly death rattle minion. Now death rattle big priest is looking to still be viable with the priest legendary. She'd be good too. Arcane Fletcher, four mana three three. Whenever you play a one cost minion, draw a spell from your deck. Look at that art. By far that's my favorite golden art we got so far. Look at that. Those arrows are flying. Ah, oh, looks cool. I did not see what pack we got Chef Nomi in, so. I don't know how many min max packs. Azul scheme. Okay. Ooh, Golden Conjurer calling. Oh, Golden Evil Genius. Let's see him. Golden Conjurer's calling looks sweet. So, guys, like I said earlier, for those that weren't here, I'll wait, oh, I'll wait till Trevor comes back. I like to hear it. Alright. Bam. Portal Keeper. I definitely want to play like like, a, like an Imp Demon Zoo Portal Keeper kind of deck now that I got the golden one. I think I got both of them that shuffles them in, so. I gotta figure out what I want to play first. I want to get the Paladin Legendary too with the Ostrich, like I hyped up in the review video. Nine lives again. Alright, got a set of those. I definitely got a set of Vendetta already. I think I have a set of almost all the uncommons.
Dumping a lot of heroic innkeepers. First War One Tempest. Mega Wind Fury. First Dreamway Guardians. Okay, okay. Life Weaver, okay. Stop with the Dr. Boom schemes. I'm gonna have so many of them. Another Portal Keeper, man. It's a sign. Ethereal Elemental. 5 mana, 2, 7. At the start of your turn, gain plus 2 spell damage. That thing can stack. That thing's out for 2 turns. That thing's got plus 4 spell damage. Whoa, I didn't, I didn't even know that thing was a thing. Talk about substitute Mally Ghost, man. Wow. Seems really strong. Like, it's not going to fight and do much, obviously, but for spell damage decks... I feel like that exotic monk that summons a 3 3 beast. I feel like that would be good in like a spell damage hunter. Golden Hench Clan Squad Shade Quill. Sunweaver Spy seems crazy in terms of secrets too. So there's a lot of good like cards on their own too, which is nice. But there's not a lot of like combining. Like, in my opinion, the thing that made Kobold so strong too. Longer than Goro. Was. There's a lot of let's buff other minions cards, so all my minions get super strong. Unless it's like my one minion gets strong and goes upwards. So targeted removal, like unidentified contract and things like that, are really strong. Wrench caliber, nice. Alright, last legend we opened was Chef Nomi. Been been a bit. And a lot of dust can make the legendaries I want. <laughs> but I would like to open them as opposed to crafting them. Have I finished a class in terms of their legendaries? Oh yeah, I have all the warrior legendaries now because my golden one was um, the mecha bot thing. And I got Dr. Boom, so I'm done with the warrior legendaries. Those are done. Okay, second Jumbo Imp. Imp Warlock is looking good. Basics. Almost halfway through. Almost halfway through, and how many legendaries do we have? Chef Naomi, Dr. Boom, Loose and Bark. I'm missing one. But we have four legendaries and 100 packs. I guess it's not too bad. Double epics. Magic carpet again. Shadowy figure. I guarantee there's other epics that I don't have that, you know. And evil geniuses, and now I'm seeing I get a whole bunch of those. <laughs> Another magic carpet. Ooh, golden reform scheme. That looks pretty cool. I mean, even if it's a three mana summon five one one imps, that's not that bad if you can buff them. Okay. Alrighty, now we're, we've gone through 100 packs so far. Can the last 100 be better than the first 100 in terms of opening legendaries? Let's see. Now 100 went down to a 99. There it is, what we got? Hey, it's the ostrich secret one. Really good one, in my opinion. Yes. Haha. -ha. She was really good, I wanted her. Twisted Eddie be like poggers. Streaming, my guy. 
And I'll do a little, I'll hit him up with a little wink. Haha. <laughs> he said poggers because he knew I wanted her. He's the ostrich man. He said, oh, you are, lol. Yes. Golden forbidden words. And he said, hi, Twitch. They said hi back. If they could talk. Alrighty. All these spell damage synergies. Draw a card. Plus three spell damage. If you have a menu with spell damage, I can attack. Two crystal song portals. Good. We can make that for the spell heal druid. I saw a token version of the druid too that was all spells, which was kind of cool. Alrighty. Welcome back, Torva. I open the ostrich. Shoot, I can't remember if they are. I think they are. I don't know what Eddie's talking about. Eddie, what are you talking about? Oops, what are you talking about? Huh? Eddie, what do you mean? Oh, wrong chat. Okay, I was like, what are you talking to? Nice, you're right. All these dimensional rippers, man. Someone two copies of a minion in your deck. I need them good minions to summon, you know. And so Torva, so Secret Pound's looking pretty good for my future. Second contract, nice, nice. Oh, Torva, I signed up for my classes for next semester today. I got everything I wanted. I'm trying to like drag with one hand and poke at things with a fork. Oh, what we got? Oh! Hey! That's not even a bad one! That's pretty cool! Dude, I will take it. That is actually a good one. Is it golden? I'm gonna say, because my buddy, my buddy Gabe said he's got it. I said, is it golden? <laughs> Ah! Wasn't where from. From Pax? Alright, so that was pack 85 is open, so that was pack 86. I had her in it. Nice. Yeah, so that was probably it for the Golden Legendaries. Is what it is, you know? I have 18 friends online. I know we don't have this many friends online when it comes to playing hearth, but they're all here for the packs. Can't blame them. Nah. Oh, it was the oh first unseen saboteur. Ah, uh, from the login. Like if I got her as a golden from the login, I wouldn't be mad. Oh, I'm only just playing hearth, so I've never pulled a golden legendary. Yeah, yes, you did, Torba. I thought you did. I pulled what now? Four of them? Cause yeah, I got four. I had Thanos. I had Jaraxxus. Eddie, hi. I had Thanos. I had Jaraxxus. I had Whizbang, and now I've had Katrina. Oh, and Torva. So I'm taking um, organic chemistry, anatomy, and physiology, microeconomics, and history. History is from like. The 1500s to the 1900s? Oh no. It's like the West. West pre 1500s to like now. It's okay. This is all gonna go up as a video on my channel after. If you missed it. Ooh, Darkest Hour. Okay. Six men. Destroy all friendly minions. For each one, summon a random minion from your deck. So. 
the mindset behind this card that I finally figured out was you reform you you reform scheme on turn five and get a bunch of five one ones and then other tokeny stuff out right. Then you sack destroy all your little one one imp token things and you summon a bunch of demons from your deck. That's what I think the thing is. You still like history night kind of casual? Yeah, I liked history too. In high, in high, um, high school. Hey, first mana cyclone. Nice, nice. For each spell, a random mage spell. Looks like mage spell damage seems strong. So far, the legendaries we've gotten weren't like bad, really. Chef Nomi is kind of eh, but otherwise, you know, they're actually viable. Like the priest one and the paladin one. <laughs> Plot twist. Plot twist is gonna be probably playing every warlock, good or bad. I don't think it'd be played actually in the zoo variants. I think definitely in the control variants though. If there even is a control warlock now with Doomguard being gone, Voidlord being gone, Gul'dan being gone. I definitely want to try a Silent Priest too because these seem pretty good. Cool. Like Ancient Watcher and Priest got other minions there that are good to be silenced. Anyone know? Question for you guys. Does Zul'jin's battle cry cast golden spells? Does Zul'jin is golden. I want to say no, but his... I want to say no. Because he's recasting the same spells that have been played. So, I want to say no. But that's just my guess. I keep missing my plate. I'm trying to stab and pick up stuff. It's not an easy task, I tell you. Epic is nine lives. All right, got three now. Don't need three, but anyway. Inferno and Conjurer's Column looking sharp. Still no Caligos. Portal of a Fiend, six mana, five, six. Battlecry, shuffle three portals in your deck when drawn, summon two two demon with rush. You guys think Shuffle Rogue would play that? I mean, they played. Ooh! Hey! That's another good one! Barista Lynchin! The really good one! Battlecry, a copy of each other Battlecry minions to your hand. Really good. I mean, anyway, like I was saying, Rogue played Feldery Strider, right? Would they ever play the Shuffle Demons? If not. Maybe not the bad statted one, but the good statted one. That barista is good. Play that in so many decks. Golden Broodmother. Epic. All right. It's like our third or fourth shadow figure. <laughs> Great. Alright, so we're still due for at least one more legend. Which is good. I mean, I would like to get two or three or five more legends, but you know. Chances of that are pretty darn slim. Mmm, bam. Eddie, why were you asking? Do you have a golden Zul'jin or were you just curious? Does a friend maybe have a golden Zul'jin? You guys think Big Warrior could be good? Like. Sorry, I just on the on the snap there. Warriors looking off. Yeah. Oh, friend wanted to know. Okay. Darkest hour. I 
I mean, I don't really see Big Warrior really taking off. I know, like, Lich King is gone, but... As Ysera, Nars Domo. Really no other really big fun stuff. Maybe he can just survive with what's here in the meta now? And I said I don't know. He wants to crap a golden one beforehand. Oh. Just because he likes him a lot? Oh, yeah. Geppetto Joy Buzz is in this. One of my friends is open. I just realized. I forgot he was in this. We still haven't gotten the epic, guys. It's all dragons. You're going to get plus three, plus three. Or the epic, or the legendary dragon for Dragon Paladin. For Dragadin. So many unsleeping cards for priests. Crystal Song Portal. Magic Trajari. Okay. We're starting to see some rares and epics now in these packs. So we're close to the legendary. Oh, Toru, you're the one that just opened Geppetto Joy Buzz. Oh my god, I didn't even see the name. Stop with the Dimensional Rippers. I already have like three. Alright, we need to get one more legendary in these next five to six packs so that that way I can open up another one on top of it. Nah, it's gonna look pretty bleak. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, opening a golden legend is good, and the golden legend is actually pretty viable. I think I would take two regular legends over a golden good legend, you know? Be right back. Got you ready. Wow. Two mana reservoirs. <sighs> Ain't looking too sharp. Remember when they finally changed it so you can't open like more than like three of a kind in a pack or something? Because people sometimes open, get like four or five packs just full of like garbage. Oh my god. I didn't even spend my gold on packs yet guys. We got more to go. I did. I didn't even spend any of my gold. I just realized. Oop! Hey, the number one rated legendary in the set. Let's go, Dark Rattle. The Heist Baron sitting on top of the pack. Oh my young, scaring the dog. I gotta stop young, scaring the pupper. Oh guys, we have like 50 more packs to go. I forgot about my gold. Unsleeping Soul, that's the card. Well, we got Rogue Complete, we got Warrior Complete for Legendaries. Man. I'm scared of the dog, I gotta... Mysterious Blade, Control Secret, that's good, that's literally a Fiery War Axe. Because you turn one secret, turn two, play that. Assuming your opponent doesn't pop the secret, I guess. I think this may be my biggest pack opening I've ever done. I just realized that. Hmm. Ooh, double gold in that pack. Life Weaver and the evil genius thing. I'm sure there'll be more. Evil something. Evil little scarab guy. Man, Darkest Hour. So many. Oh! Hey, Swamp Queen Agatha! That's good! Door! <laughs> Eddie, the card I yawned at! It's golden! Look at that animation. Look at that. They're trying their best. Hagatha's really good. I forgot about Hagatha. I like the Murloc guy, too. We get darkest... Another... Guys, this hour is so dark. You don't understand. This is the darkest hour here. You know?
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sending something. All right, what we get? Let's get some heaters. Let's get some heaters. I actually just won't hang it. That was a pretty good heater. But statistically, we're going to open up another one in this batch. Very small chance to not. And then I'm going to get, like, another 50 packs or whatever. And then we're opening those. <laughs> Rapid fire. Yoink. Ping ping. The power of creation. Evil Genius. That's the name of the card, guys. That's what I thought it was, but... Evil Genius seems not bad, right? Because you're playing much amps and stuff. Anybody else miss Tar Creeper yet? I like seeing people. I like seeing the um, the new guy that's like the the new pseudo Tar Creeper. Ooh, hey, Scargo! Four mana, four four. Murlocs cost one. Oh my God, we have twenty packs. We could get literally another legend. We could. Twenty packs is definitely reasonable to get another legend in. This is pack opening's actually been pretty nuts if you think of how many legends I've actually opened. Can we get one more in the last 20? Oh, we did! Catgar! Catgar's good! Oh my god, how many legendaries have we opened in these 200? I wonder. Remember I made that joke saying I got like, I'd like to get five more in the bottom half? I think that five more is gonna ha- gonna or did happen. I'm not gonna keep track of how many legends I got, but after this we can certainly check. Alright, so there's 201 packs this time, right? I'm going to use all my gold to buy more packs. And we sh Proud Defender, that's the new uh, Tar Creeper replacement. I'm like, mm, I think I kind of see it. It's good if you got nothing else. Oh, Golden Hench Clan Burglar. I need another Power of Creation, that makes a set, nice. I did get some good stuff, didn't I? This, this pack opening has been actually pretty darn decent. So I have Shaman done, I have Rogue done, I have Warrior done. In terms of both legends. Which are the tough ones to get. I'm trying to remember the druid legend besides... Oh, no, yeah, I got druid done too. I'm not going to look at my collection until I finish opening up all the packs. And then I can see what legendaries I still have left to craft. I still have my like favorite girl, the one that replaces your deck with 10 legendaries to open. I don't have a, Ge I don't have a Geppetto Joy Buzz yet. That's the one where you draw two minions and make them be one, one, one mana one ones. So it's just literally Valen and Maligos and you just kind of win. Oh! Archivate and Reform in this pack too! Oh my god! The amount of legendaries, dude! The amount of legendaries! And the first 201 is nuts! Double epics, a contract, and a portal. I opened 11 packs when I have my legend I got, so it's fine. Did you get you get Geppetto, right, Torva? Alright, Warlock's not done yet. I still need Warlock, I still need Priest, I still need Mage, I still need Paladin. Alright, now we're gonna go to the... Now we're gonna go... How much gold? Yeah, we're gonna get... Alright. We're gonna the shop. Nice Rafam. Oh, thank you. Isn't there a way to... There he is. Cannot exceed 50. Oh, you want to try me, mate? I have enough for 54. Oh. All right, I guess we're doing 50. And then we'll buy the last... And then we'll buy the last... What is it? Oh. Three. 
Boom. All right. So a total of 256 packs have been opened in this pack opening bonanza here. I still have a good number of legendaries I still have to open. So let's see. On average, we can do some math and see on average what we got. I still have gold for my quest that I haven't done yet today. Which will definitely be enough to get me another pack or two. But. We shall see. I'm giving my girlie some wisdom. Cheering her on because she's going to have a tough time tonight. She does mentoring, right? But it's tough because they don't really... They mentor from a class that they previously had, right? So it's not like the knowledge is like fresh in their minds. But... The Paladin Dragon guy would be nice. The one that gives all my dragons plus three plus three. Then open a single one of him. But don't worry, I have like three or four of other of other epics. Eager underling. I'm missing the warlock legendary too. Ruffle Ruffelbug or something? Ruffalbug? The one that's not really that not not that good, according to ratings. I mean, I'd like the dragon one. The dragon one, I forget. Doesn't he? Yeah, he's free of life. So he restores both players to full health, right? But at that point, the paladin should kind of be winning the fight and can easily just beat them. That twin spell give too many life, give a minion life steal, then you basically give too many life steals. Actually, pretty, pretty crazy. No, no worry though. I have like four magic carpets. Those two magic carpets couldn't have been the paladin guy. Oh no, no, no. But um. Yeah, so it restores both minions to full life. Mm. Oh yeah, we got Chef Nomi. Oh, I thought I opened them all. It's the Mad Summoner. He's just so crazy. Alrighty, so I opened what, 256 packs? I think I'm due for a legendary. I mean, I know that he was towards the end the last one that we got. Not Kagar, but um, Rafam was definitely towards the end, so maybe that's why it's taken a while. Golden Bronze Herald, there we go. And I'm real happy that they made it so you can't open dupe legendaries, because you can't use dupe legendaries, so... I think I might have enough dust to actually make the rest of the legendaries that I would need or want. Two recurring villains. Uh, <laughs> he's so evil with his jaw. Epic. Big bad arc mage. Oh, man. Double toxic fins. All right, we're due. Come on now. Been about 20 to 30 packs here. Making me wait, making me dig. Rafam was indeed towards the last one, but we've been through about 20 to 30 here. We're due, Torv. Any guesses what the next one is? I'm thinking it's going to be the dragon from the Dragon Paladin. Specifically because I haven't opened any of the epic ones for that guy that gives all the dragons plus two plus two. Like, watch, this is not going to be him. See? Oh, but Waggle Pick, I didn't know that either. Death Row will turn any friendly minion you're in and cost two less. Okay. Alright. Legendary! Nope. I think it's actually doing the 40 pack timer now. 40 pack pretty timer. It's because we got those double legendaries earlier. Like the ones that were in the, that were in the, it was like a pack and like another pack, pack or two later was like Dr. Boom. I forget it was before. Nope, another jumbo imp. Still no, still no, uh, still no dragons. 
So no dragon synergy. You're the dragon. Woo. Dude, they're really making me wait out these 40 packs? Really? There. Oh. <gasps> okay, this was worth the wait. This was worth the wait indeed. Oh my god. Madame Lazul. Geppetto Joy Buzz. Mm. Wow. That has not happened to me. Goodness. Wow. Since what year? 2014? And I've been, I will remind you, I've been playing Hearthstone for quite some time. And I remember it was Uther and it was Archimedes Antonitis in one pack. I just don't remember how long ago it was. My goodness, I had a, it was, I remember it was during Driver's Ed. I was sitting in the, I was riding home with one of my buddies from Driver's Ed. Oh my God, what year was it? Here it is. Yep, yeah, it was October 28th, 2015. April 9th, 2019. <sighs> well over three years since I've opened Double Legendaries. And you know, they're both not too bad. All right. That was worth the wait. I take it back, Blizzard. You you got me. You played me for a fool, indeed. Ugh. Madam, the granted they're not like awful either. One is a combo up the crazy wazoo card. And the other one is a good knowledge base for you to get knowledge in the opponent's hand that's early and good. So I will not complain about either. They're not the worst either, because there is worser ones than them. Granted, they're not like Callie Ghost or that girl that shuffles in the, the 10 legendaries, but you know, you know, what are you gonna do? It's randomized, right? Alright, I'm done with Priest now. I'm done with the Priest class for Legends. I'm waiting for the Dragon for Paladin. I'm waiting for the Warlock legendaries, Scud scud bug, scud bug thing. Now, I hope it's not like. Since I've opened two legendaries, I have to wait like 80 packs. I doubt that's what it is, but, you know. It very well could be. Golden Rare, Reoccurring Villain, Underbelly Angler, Soul of the Murloc. Does your Murloc have soul? That's the question. Sunray Spy, ooh, golden. Oh my god, yes. Now I wonder how many legends I've opened in 256 packs. We could do the math and see if it's above average, below average. Oh, Torva, you missed something that hasn't happened to me since 2015. When it comes to pack opening, something that hasn't happened since, to me since 2015. Granted, it wasn't the best that it could have been, but I'm not complaining either. It had to do with pack openings. It hasn't happened to me since 2015. Now, come on now, get over there. Any guesses, Torva? I see your question marks. I did see that you disconnected, so I figured that you did have to go or did leave or something. Golden underbelly fence. Double, no, no, it wasn't golden, but it was double legendary in a pack. Yeah. It was Madame Lazuli and Geppetto Joy Buzz, so I'm not complaining. 
Because one is a great combo enabler, and the other one is good for knowing information in the opponent's hand. So, granted, it wasn't at all like the Dragon Paladin Legendary or the um, Barista. Not, no, I got the Barista, or the um, the girl I wanted that shuffles the 10 Legendaries in and replaces your deck. But, nonetheless, so I'm, let me see. So, in these 256 packs, when this is over, can we get one in the bottom four packs, I wonder? After opening up those double ones, I doubt it. Oh! Never mind. Hey, gotta go. Hey. Ah, nice. All right. As I said it, that's a good way to end the pack opening, right? There. So all the mage legendaries are done. Oh my god, dude, this this pack opening had to have been yeah by far is my best one. I don't think even I don't think which would compare to this. At all. I don't think Dr. Boom's one compared to this at all. Rocket Sun Rumble, I didn't really buy much into either. But, let's see. Oh, Caligos was a great way to end that. Okay, so. I opened the 256 packs, okay? Let's see how many legendaries were in that bundle. Alright. Those two were, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 256 to 15. That's on average of opening a legendary every 17 packs. Ah. <sighs> Not too shabby. It's hard to say that I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep Because my dreams are bursting at the seams